Alan Stratton here from CostMatters.com. Accountants love to tick and tie numbers and sometimes become insanely excited when their numbers balance. Woohoo! This insanity is to their advantage when they are providing their control function. In case others viewing this post don't know, accountants have multiple roles or functions in business. One is control. Make sure the money and assets are where they're supposed to be. Another is advisor, providing information essential to making good management decisions leading to profitability. But back to our insane asylum. This attention to detail, cross-referencing, and balancing serves their business well in their control function. However, when it comes to providing decision-grade information for management in their advisor role, this insanity drives others insane. This time, the insanity is not welcome. For example, let's look at customer profitability. Accountants are slowly getting the message that there is a cost to serve customers beyond what it costs to produce products. They are beginning to recognize that a sales representative serves their customers' needs with a portfolio of products. Rarely are sales representatives dedicated to a single product. Instead, they call on customers to understand the customer's needs. Then they try to meet those needs with whatever product best matches their customers' requirements. From a cost perspective, this means that we can trace cost to serve to customers, but not to products. We have a good cause and effect relationship between sales and the customer, but we don't have a relationship between sales to products. When a sales call is made, we don't know what product the customers will buy. An insane accountant will attempt to allocate these sales costs back to products. A good advisor accountant will recognize where cause and effect relationships exist and where they don't. The advisor will trace product cost to products and customer cost to customers. But the advisor will not stop there. The advisor will create a customer profitability statement. The top of this statement will highlight the revenue earned from the customer with the corresponding costs of products. This will provide the customer's gross margin. Then the advisor will list the activities required to serve the customer that are not product related, but are customer related. Remember that the product related costs were included in the top section. Once these costs to serve activities are deducted from the customer's gross margin, we'll see what this customer relationship contributes to covering other business costs and hopefully, or essentially, a bottom line profit. To summarize on our one-way street, customer costs flow down one lane. Product costs come in from a side street and then flow down a lane alongside the customer costs. These two lanes unite in a customer profitability analysis. However, Allocating customer costs to products is going against traffic on a one-way street. It is dangerous, and going against consist traffic consistently is insane. Have you been going the wrong way on a one-way street? Please share below this post at CostMatters.com. When cost matters, profits soar. I'm Alan Stratton from CostMatters.com. Thank you.